what is going on youtube it's your boy spanko and today i'm back with a deck that i don't think i've updated in quite some time and that is altergeist altergeist was one of my favorite decks when it originally came out and i haven't really played it in a while and i was thinking let's give you guys something that you guys can play in today's format and be relatively competitive with so with that we're showing you guys altergeist and how to play it in today's format now if you guys do enjoy these deck profiles make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu -Gi -Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week on the channel but we do a full 10 videos per week five long videos five short videos you guys are gonna get a little bit of everything we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers i know we can make it happen soon because the spanko squad is the best squad on youtube so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and with that let's get right into the deck profile all right so just before we get into this deck profile i haven't done altergeist in a while but the really cool thing about altergeist is in today's format it plays very similarly to how it did when it was really meta and the reason for that is because you really want to play a mid-range version of the deck where you're controlling the pace of the game but then all of a sudden can push for a lot of damage right so let's get right into the deck profile here we are starting off of course with three altergeist multi-faker i wouldn't change this up at all you have to be playing three three marionette the best normal summon in your deck and i guess the second best normal summon in your deck would be three Milaseek. so the the reason Milaseek is the second best normal summon over the Marionette is because Milaseek does get you into your multi faker and it does help you set up some of your combos. But the reason I would say Marionette is still the best normal summon is because getting access to your trap cards is always the way to go with this deck. Because as soon as you get your trap cards in rotation, you're pretty much going to be able to snowball from there. And this deck is very much a snowball based deck, meaning essentially once it gets going, it gets going a little bit more and then more and then more. And then the deck gets insanely powerful and it just becomes really hard to stop, right? So Marionette here, of course, really powerful normal summon. Same thing with your Milaseek. And then we're playing the one Pukuri, of course. Pukuri is also really important. It helps you just link climb a little bit further. And it's another name that you can search now in the deck, which is really powerful. And then we're playing two Silquidus as well as one Conquery. So this is pretty standard, I would say, Altergeist ratios. I don't think this should be changed up at all in today's format. I think it's really powerful to play these cards. And I still really like Conquery. It just does give you that battle protection that a lot of decks don't really have. And a lot of decks don't really have counters for, which is really nice. So that's why I still like like playing the one conquery even though this is quote unquote the one brick in your deck it's still very important to be playing this card for a lot of different situations then we're playing the best altergeist trap card and that's three infinite impermanence if you guys don't know the reason why i say it's the best altergeist trap card it's because if this card let's say you're going second right and you activate your imperm you can then chain your multi faker from your hand so it becomes really nice because it's essentially a turn zero multi faker which is absolutely insane so that's why we're playing three imperm but of course if you're going first imperm is just a card you can set and it becomes really powerful as well and it's a really good hand trap in today's format then we're playing three of the personal spoofing of course pretty much getting you into any altergeist monster that you need in your deck so let's say you have a mila seek or you have a marionette or you have multiple marionetters you need to get to a multi faker that's how you're going to get to a multi faker and the really cool thing is if you guys don't know this as well after you activate the spoofing and let's say you search the multi faker you can actually then trigger multi faker because the card has now resolved and multi faker triggers on resolution of a trap card so that's why you're going to be able to actually activate the multi faker even if you're searching it off of the spoofing which is absolutely insane Insane. then we're playing the one manifestation as well as two protocol so protocol is essentially a solemn strike for altergeist so that's why i'm playing two it's a really powerful card it stays on the field and it makes it so that your altergeist cards effects cannot be negated which is absolutely insane because now your opponent can't ash your faker summon from deck this card obviously just becomes really powerful for the deck it's a, it's a form of protection right and you can't really argue when the deck has a solemn strike and a form of protection in a singular card and then for consistency we're playing three pot of prosperity and i think this is the only card that you actually need to be playing in the deck in terms of consistency and the reason for that is because like something like pot of duality for example it makes it so that you can't actually make a lot of plays after you duality and if you guys see we're also playing kaijus in this deck which means if you duality and you're going second let's just say you can't actually summon that kaiju so i think prosperity is good enough keep in mind this deck is pretty consistent on its own i mean just having access to spoofing having your searches over here with mila seek and marionetter so the deck is already pretty consistent prosperity just adds another level of consistency which is really nice then we're playing three rivalry the warlords this card obviously is just really powerful in its own sense it's really the only floodgate that we're playing in the deck but if you're able to set this up you're in a really good spot keep in mind all of your altergeist monsters are all spellcaster so you're never going to be stuck in a position with rivalry where you can't actually summon any monsters so this card obviously is very powerful into today's metagame and then we're playing three solemn judgment in the main deck i think three solemn judgment in the main deck just makes a lot of sense and that's because you really want to protect yourself from evenly match you really want to protect yourself for any board breakers harpies feather duster lightning storm 
Solemn, etc., etc. So that's why I really like Solemn Judgment in the main deck. I wouldn't really change this up. I really like this card. I think this card obviously makes a lot of sense. And we all just know how good Solemn Judgment is. So that's why we're playing the three. Then for our anti meta hand trap board breaker S cards, we're playing three Ash Blossom, of course, which is generically really good into everything. We're playing three Gamma Seal. Now, this is something that I tried in Altergeist a long time ago, and it's something that I actually really liked in Altergeist. It was back in the day where Dragoon was really important and really powerful. And I think, I can't remember what the other card is, but when your opponent pretty much can set up towers, this card becomes really powerful. And in today's format, you guys might be wondering, oh, but Spanko, what deck puts up a towers? Well, if you think about Kosh Sura, right? Kosh Sura does a thing where they can summon their Arise Heart, which obviously is very powerful on its own. And being able to just Kaiju and Arise Heart is really powerful or Kaiju a Shangri-La so you can get your zones is also really powerful. But the thing with Gamma Seal that I really like is that nowadays people are banishing their Infinite Track Goliath from their extra deck. Essentially, Arise Heart can attach a card that's banished onto itself. So when you're able to attach the Goliath and then it becomes a towers because of the Goliath effect, the Kaiju obviously becomes really good. So that's why I really like three Gamma Seal in the main deck. And then lastly, we're playing three Evenly Match as well because if you are forced to go second, Evenly Match is very powerful in today's metagame. And keep in mind, just like Imperm, if you're activating Evenly Match on resolution, you can then summon your multi faker. So you're able to get your multi faker off if you're forced to go second, not just with Imperm, but with Evenly Matched as well. So I really like this card in the main deck. And that's it for the main deck. It's a 40 card main deck, very consistent in my opinion, and it really gets the job done, which is really important because you don't really want to play a lot of clutter in this deck. You really want to make it so that you can snowball. And these are the cards that help you essentially snowball the fastest, right? So that's why I really like this main deck, 40 cards in the main deck. For the extra deck here, we are playing three Altergeist Hextia, obviously the most important card in your extra deck. You have to be playing three. We're playing one Prime Banshee as well as one Memory Gant. Memory Gant is pretty powerful in some situations, helps you push for a lot of damage, especially when you're locked into Altergeist monsters. If I didn't mention this earlier, Multi Faker essentially locks you into summoning Altergeist cards when you use its effect, right? So for that reason, we are playing the one Memory Gant, helps you OTK. We're playing the one Link Karibo, helps you get Milaseek into the graveyard so you can Milaseek search. Anima is really good going second with Milaseek as well. We're playing the one Magistus. The reason you're playing this is because I highly recommend playing Secret Village of the Spellcasters in your side deck and secret village requires you to control a spellcaster monster now you guys might be wondering but spanko all your altergeist are spellcaster monsters the thing is sometimes you really need to get the milaseek into the graveyard so that you can search the multi faker and the best link one that you can make with milaseek so that your secret village is still live is the artemis so that's why i really like playing the one artemis here then we're playing one lina lina of course is really powerful your, your marionette is a light you can sometimes go into this which is kind of nice and then it's also a spellcaster for you keep that in mind same thing with celine celine's another card that you can go into help you link climb and then we're playing one phoenix one ip one unicorn just some generic cards that you can make in this deck that can be really really powerful but a lot of the times these can also be prosperity fodder lastly we're playing one access code because if you do end up in a situation where you have unicorn on board or you're able to go into Celine, then you can go into access code and this can help you push for damage as well and lastly i'm playing one avermax avermax is really good with the ip mascarena so just another option that you guys can be playing but essentially these uh i guess six or seven cards over here are the most important cards in your extra deck right so that's it for the extra deck there's not much to explain here really other than you're playing some spellcasters that are really good with secret village and it makes it just really powerful when you're able to set this up now one more thing i will say about the side deck i'm not obviously building a full side deck here for you guys but i think anti-spell is another very powerful card that you guys can be playing of course there's a trap card that can synergize really well with multi faker but on top of that because you're not playing a lot of spells outside of prosperity anyways setting up an anti-spell could be very very powerful against a lot of different matchups so keep in mind it's really good into Koshtura. it's really good into sprite because it forces them to use starter right away and then they're kind of stuck they don't really have access to the right because i know a lot of people are on the adventure builds now and they don't have access to that anymore with anti-spell right so there's a lot of really cool things that anti-spells is really good into so i would suggest also siding the anti-spells because essentially again you're not playing spells and you're able to set up a board sometimes where you have secret village where you're able to activate spells your opponent isn't and if you don't have the secret village and you have an anti-spell instead it's fine because it's not like there's many spells that you have to be activating other than prosperity right so for that reason it's kind of like okay both those cards essentially lock your opponent out of spells and then you are able to snowball and do whatever you do so that's it for the deck guys i think you guys should definitely try it out because it's very very powerful and i think it's a very fun way to play altergeist in today's format
So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That is my take on Altergeist for today's format. Now keep in mind this deck, I think again, like I said, is very much of a snowball based deck. And I really built this deck so that you can snowball in any situation. Whether you're going first and can set up some traps or you're going second with the Gamma Seal and the Evenly Match, you're always going to be able to at least build a board in this deck. Your board is just going to get bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger as the turns go on. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week on the channel but we do a full 10 videos per week five long videos five short videos you guys are gonna get a little bit of everything so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys all for watching 10,000 subscribers soon i know you guys can make it happen so with that spanko signing out peace